What is up guys and welcome to this bootstrap tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to create this header block that you can see right here using bootstrap 4. So this tutorial assumes you know a little bit about HTML and CSS and it's also good if you're familiar with the most commonly used bootstrap classes such as containers, rows, columns, etc. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so on my desktop here, you can see that I have prepared a starter file and this contains a basic HTML starter template that has some links to the style sheet and the bootstrap files. It also has the background image and the phone that we're going to be using for this project. So go ahead and download this file from the description box below and we'll all start from here. Okay, so once that's done, what you want to do is go ahead and open up the index file in a text editor. I'll be using brackets, but you can use any text editor that you want. So go ahead and open this up. And then also open up the index file in a web browser that, so that we can preview the changes that we're going to be making. So before we actually start coding, let's go ahead and take a look at the example from the start and break down the basic structure of the block. To make this a little bit easier, I made a colorized version of this block with each component having its own unique color. So let me go ahead and open that up. There we go. So the first thing we see here is the green, which is our main section that holds all of the code. This is also where we set the background image later on. And then uh, next up we have the orange here, which is the container. Uh, the container holds the main content, so the phone and the text. And then before we actually get to the columns, we have a row, which you unfortunately can't see since it's the same size as the container. And uh, inside the row, we have both our columns. The first column is this blue one right here, holding the phone. And the second column is the red one right here, holding the text and the button. So that is the basic structure of our block. And now that we know that, we can go ahead and start typing this up. Okay, so now we can actually start coding. So let's go ahead and open up our code editor. And inside the body tags, we'll go ahead and create our main section. So do section, clause, and give it a clause name. I'll name mine header tutorial, like so. And then inside the section, we're going to have the container, the row, and the two columns. So let's start with the container. So div, clause, container, close that out. And inside the container, we'll have the row, the so div, clause, row. And then finally, inside the row, we'll have our two columns. So the first column will be a little bit smaller than the other one. So we'll do a div, clause, call, five for the first one. And for the second one, we'll do div, clause, call, seven. Uh, we'll change these a bit later on to make them more responsive, but for now, we'll just use call 7 and call 5. Okay, so with that done, we can go ahead and start adding our content. So in the first column here, we'll add the image of the phone. So to do that, simply do img src and put the uh, URL, URL to the phone from the starter file. And an easy way you can do this is by opening up the starter folder here and then uh, dragging the phone into a web browser, dropping it and then copying this path right here. So I'm going to copy that and I'm put it in here. Let's close that and let's preview. So go ahead and refresh and there's our phone. We'll also add a clause to this image. So clause img fluid which is going to help make the image more responsive so go ahead and add this clause and then for the second column we'll add all of the text and the button so we'll start with the headline so i'm just going to copy and paste this to save some time 
So we'll do on H1 and paste in the text there. And same thing for the subheading. So H3, paste in the text, and then we'll do the button. So button, type, button, and then we'll give it the clause btn and btn primary. And then for the text that's displayed on in the button, we'll do start free trial. Like so. Let's go ahead and save that and refresh the browser. And now we can see that we have our text showing up here, but it's not aligned correctly because if we look at the finished project here, you can see that it's way lower down sort of in the center of the phone. To do that, we don't actually need to add any CSS. We can just add some additional clauses to the container and the row. So let's go ahead and do that. So first off with the container, we'll add the clause age 100, which will set the height of the container to 100%. We'll add the same clause to the row, so age 100. And once you've done that, you can actually make use of the clause align items center. So do align items center, and that should center the text for us. And there we go. Okay, so in the next part of the tutorial, we'll actually start styling this project and making it look nice. So I'll see you guys in part two.